What's cracking everybody? This is Charles from Cars and Comics by Charles. In today's video, I'm going to talk about BCCG, which is Beckett's low tier grading, and I'll give a critique on it and what you can expect if you're trying to regrade these. All right, so Beckett, uh, formerly known as Beckett Grading Services, used to have a low tier uh, value uh, uh, system. So if you didn't want to pay the full fee for their Beckett grading system, they would grade it with uh, their more economical company called BCCG. I think it makes sense that they would do this to compete with some of the low plane or low cost uh, uh, grading companies out there in the marketplace. But now they seem irrelevant. You do find them quite a bit in the marketplace. And uh, you know, I thought I'd be a little bit uh, wise. And uh, I, got, I got a bunch of them for a very rare card. And the card is Shaquille O'Neal's uh, first uh, season, or first set that he had that was out. That was by Classic. So he had an exclusive uh, deal with Classic. And if you notice some of the rookie cards like Upper Deck, they had a draft card. The reason they had that in their packs is because they couldn't really produce that Shaquille card. So if you got one of those, you could trade it in, get a Shaquille trade in. It wasn't until later on that they could actually produce their own Shaquille O'Neal rookie card. So the first set was Classic in 1992. They had a one in a 100,000 insert that was in there that was super sought out. It's the LP1 um, and it had gold foil on it. Now I did recently find out that there's a ton of them out there that have the gold foil, but even more rare, there's a lot of them out there that have no gold foil. And the funny thing is, is once I saw this, this was about five years ago, I've been buying them all up, every single one of them I can find. And I thought I'd be wise. And I thought, huh, maybe I'll send these back to BCCG, have them grade it and cross it over to a regular Beckett grading service. And uh, I can say I'm truly disappointed. So they didn't live up to the hype of what these actually are. Now, like I said, these were their low cost versions that you would send in. And uh, if you look here, I've got four of these guys and I actually already sent these in. Um, I did let them know um, that I didn't want to grade them if they graded less than what they basically say on their grade. So if you look here, and I don't know if that picks it up, but basically, uh, BCCG guarantees that it is mint or better if it's at a 10. So you think, oh, well, I'll send it into the same company. I'll pay the ridiculous amount that they charge now for their grading. I think at the moment it's 125 without subgrades, 250 for a freaking graded card. Are you freaking kidding me? And PSA is just as bad, but they command a lot more in value. And I'll have a separate video that kind of breaks down all the major companies. There's really four of them. But I was disappointed because I sent them in and I thought these will at least grade a nine or better. And the sad thing is, you know, I have five of these guys, actually six total, five with me. And I'll get into what happened there. But um, yeah, I, I sent them in. And I thought I'll get at least nines because that's what they claim on these mint or better. Mint is in BGS a nine. So that means that all the four things they look at, centering edges, corners and surface, uh, they average out and they give you a grade. And for a nine, it'd be mint or better. All these are 10 BCCGs, and that means that they should be BGS 9s because this is still mint. But this just shows you that can you trust a company like Beckett when they're putting crap out in the marketplace that doesn't even live up to their normal grading standard? So they're just slabbing these like crazy and throwing them out there. So this is a buyer beware. If you're buying a BCC 10 and you think, oh, it's like a discounted price, if you send it in or even if you crack them and send them in, you're not going to get the grade that you think. You're not going to get a nine or better. This is crap in the marketplace. And I know I'm shitting on a lot of my cards. I have a lot of these graded like this. I have a lot of graded cards, but I'm surprised that they would stand and put their name behind this and not at least uphold to like at least a nine if they're crossing it over. But yes, it's it's lower uh, value or, or lower cost to get these sent in. But it's disappointing when they don't you know they don't don't live up to their promises. So don't pay anything remotely close to even an equivalent of a BGS nine if you're buying a BCC G10. Go lower. Uh, because of the six that I sent in, two of them, the highest grades they got were nine. But I'm happy to say that I currently own literally almost every single one that's graded nine or above in the marketplace. And I'm not getting rid of these for a minute. I think this is a super rare card. Nobody's talking about it. It's out there. You guys see it, buy it. Uh, they're super undervalued, but buyer beware. You may not get a nine even, definitely not a 9.5. I've actually seen a lot of them on eBay now going for you know, 150, 200 bucks plus. So the word's out there, they're getting more popular. Uh, they're still a relatively unknown card, but it was his most popular insert card and the most sought after card when he first came out for those collectors that were around in 1992. That was the card to get from that set and it wasn't even close. 
Uh, but disappointing, these four here, um, I mean, I could crack them and send them back in. They're not gonna give me a nine. I would never send them back into Beckett. I don't know what I was thinking. I would, I mean, I should have cracked these and sent them into PSA, but right now, all the companies are way behind. This took about a year for me to get these in. Uh, I have another video that discusses more about a situation that I had with Beckett. But basically, um, uh, you know, if you notice, I, t I said I had six, and one of them came back damaged, so I was kind of pissed. So I waited so long. I actually, had to actually call the representative and let him know, like, yo, where, where are my cards? And he's like, okay. And then I think they must have messed up or something. And I had a situation that I'll discuss in another video, but I think it's because of that that they kind of held them off to the side and was seeing what I was going to do. Um, and I think the only thing I can do is make a video and see how the market responds to uh, what I found with Beckett. And I definitely don't trust them as a company. And this just solidifies more why I don't trust them. Uh, they don't live up to their promises. Now it has me concerned about all my other Beckett, you know, grades. Like, do they really live up to the hype of their grades? And honestly, this is why this company's lost a lot of respect. And even now, this is a newer slab, and I'm looking at the uh, just the. Um, the label here and it's like it looks almost like it's like warped already i mean i've had this for what like a week and they just the quality is not there anymore and the fact that these got damaged so they're shipping them really crappy because how, how do you get a damaged slab i mean come on um i've been using other companies i've never had one and then i send in for the first time in like years and then i get a damaged one so anyway just uh, some food for thought there i don't recommend buying bccg in the marketplace at anything above a nine or, or mint like it's st uh, states on there definitely not mint it's not going to live up to the, the hype and i'm batting two for six or 333 or 33 percent however you want to look at it with these submissions that i sent in and you can't afford to take that risk anymore especially considering that you're paying 250 if you want subgrades and like i said i sent this in a long time ago so i didn't pay that and i, I got grandfathered into what i paid or what i said i was going to pay back then but if you're sending anything new like right now if i would have sent these all in and wanted subgrades i would have literally been been paying 250 for each one just to get graded and let alone in the marketplace i would have easily paid 100 to 200 bucks per um and then on top of that you know i'd be in like 350 for each one and come back with like a bgs 8 8.5 that's garbage so anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you want to be uh, looking at future videos just hit the bell icon and i look forward to you joining my videos